What makes this look like that? Hello everyone, let's take a look. What options do we have to adjust for a better performance or better quality in Anno 1800? Launch the game and click on options. Here under the graphics tab we have all the buttons we need. First four are simple and fast. First we have the resolution. For best performance make sure it's correct based on your own screen resolution. Next we have DirectX 11 and 12. Basically the idea is if you have older hardware, like nearly decade old hardware, then use X11. Modern hardware should run X12 without issues. Next we have window mode, window full screen, window full screen, screen here, screen there, screen everywhere. And then we have the combat slider. And now we get to FPS changers or image quality depends what you need. Here we have anti-aliasing or shortly called A8. A8 is basically a smoothing process to remove staircasing effect. A8 benefits smaller resolutions a bit more simply because smaller resolution screens have less pixels per inch. So the higher resolution screens get less staircasing effect because their pixels are already smaller and smooth frames out by themselves. This effect though has high cost and FPS, so keep that in mind if you choose to use it. Next is shader quality, it's moderate impact option to add few more shadows in here and there. As you can see on the screen, this option has added three shadows into industrial smoke. You might spot similar effect also in the rain with this option on. Next, shadow quality. I don't believe I need to explain what shadows are, but it's always the one who is stealing your FPS. So if your hardware is struggling to give out frames, then turn shadows down for sure. The next option is post-processing. This is for sun rays and lens flare. And let me be straight. This option doesn't change much. On high option, it's very mildly stronger than on low option. And also low option doesn't turn it off. But you can turn it off in a way. That's if you set fixed sun position to off. Then you can't turn your camera into sun anymore. Next option, the view distance. This option also hooks up your FPS, even though as you can see, there is a whole new island on the screen, you actually might not care too much about it, as most of the game, you'll be looking top down anyway. So to save some FPS, turn this maybe on low. And the last option, on the left, we have fixed sun positioning. This means the sun can be fixed either on a player camera or on the map. If it's fixed on the player camera, then every time when player turns around, the shadows also turn around, just like the player does. So remember that. That's it for the left side of this video. If this video helps your gameplay, or it helps you to understand better of these options, then I'm very, very happy. And if so, then Perhaps you can click some buttons below the video. Anyway, moving on. On the right side here, on the top, we have graphics adapter. There should be your GPU, should be listed in there. If it's not, maybe you don't have one, maybe you're running on CPU, it should be listed there then. Next option. Wow, oh, I'm gonna butcher this one. Fidelity? Wow! I, I, I'll go with that. Fidelity FX Super Resolution. Or FX SR, basically. To start off with this option, you do not need AMD graphics card to use it. You can use it with NVIDIA GPU, no problem whatsoever. So what does this option do? It's like if AA 
was lower resolution helper, then FXSR is helper for the higher resolutions. Basically, it's the only option here that gives you more frames. It works by taking in lower frames, then scaling them up, cleaning up and then trying to make them sharper. As you can see on the picture, there is really, maybe you can't even see, there is really low difference between those two pictures. But if you look really closely at those two pictures, then the one with FXSR enabled has the railroad slightly sharper, but not so much. So if you need frames though, you can definitely add this option on. But it does have a cost, and the cost can be false information on the pixels. So in shooter games and fast-paced games, I would not recommend having this option on. And next one, we have presets for graphics quality. One thing to note in here is that whatever option you choose, the AA will be always times 2. So if you are hungry for frames, make sure to switch this off manually. Then we have VSync or FreeSync if you have the monitor that enables it and the graphics card. This basically caps the frames based on your monitor refresh rate so you don't get any tearing on it. Next up we have texture quality. Now this is a big changer visually. This is one of the biggest visually changing option in this list. As you can see it changes a lot. We can count now the stones on the beach or the rocks on the ground. Texture quality also has demand on frames. Just like shadows I don't think I need to explain too much what textures are. And next we have option for lightning quality. Here you can change it how much flash you would like. I have to admit that in 50 hours of playing this game, I cannot remember even once seeing lightning. So it's pretty useless I guess. Next up is water quality. This one, as you can see, adds some waves on a shoreline. It's nice, but then again, we don't spend that much time looking on the beach here. It's a top-down game with lots of buttons to press. Next one after that, we have object quality. This will add the grass and a little bit more textures for the buildings. But mainly it adds the grass so we can go and touch it visually it's much more better looking than just green plains, isn't it? And while we are on the green plains here, let's also take a look at our next option. This is terrain quality. Here we can see it adds much more depth and makes it a bit more realistic. And the last one in the list we have feedback quality. Now feedback quality is not commenting in YouTube, which you can do. Feedback quality is actually the population in your cities and on your streets and on your beaches and everywhere where they go. Here we can see it adds up much more people. If you don't like people, you can always tell them that it's COVID-69 and send them back in their home. Now when you get close to the ground as such, these humans will definitely start eating your frames. So bear in mind, if you are struggling with frames, you might want to lower this option. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it helps you. I hope it helps you to understand what these options do. And I will see you next time. I hope so. And if you're still here, I'm gonna tell you a secret. That's my very first video ever. And I think it's coming out pretty decent considering. Uh, I do need new mic, so I will get that. And I hope to see you next time. Stay fluffy. Bye bye.